Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest VIII. We've defeated Evil Jessica. Each party member receives 8,865 experience points, 210 gold coins. I think that's all from the shadows. It's not possible. Oh, it's possible. No, no human could match the power of the scepter. Except me. I have protagonist privilege. You won't get away with this. Now, you'll see the true power of the scepter. Already it has ended the bloodlines of four of the sages. Well, there's still three left. This town will burn, and every one of you will perish. Now, now, let's not go creating second sons, all right? Get out of the way! Move! Move! <laughs> Just in the nick of time, the barrier is ready. All right, maybe rather than tell us that the barrier is ready, just, like, put it up. Yo, villainous fiend! Take my life, would you? <sighs> You'll have to break through my barrier first. Alakazam! No. Oh. Well, that is going to break some bones. Thump. Ow! Man, her shins have got to... Had to have shattered from that. <laughs> Behold, I am a mastermind. I do appreciate that you have done this and uh, rescued our, our companion so she can get back in the party. Well done. You did a fine job of keeping her at bay until I was ready. Oh, I know. I must reward you. You may have the honor of finishing her off. Do you accept? No, of course not! No! What? Why on earth not? Explain yourself. She's my friend! Also, Trode. Trode is here, and we don't get a core blimey. <sighs> Game. I resent not getting a core blimey! Alt explains the situation to Domenico. Well, well. So... This gal is a friend of yours. Yeah, she's just, uh, you know, a little bit, a little possessed. A little possessed. And she's been under some kind of curse ever since you defeated the Dual Magus. Yes. Oh, hardly a good excuse. But I don't care anymore. The gal is yours to do with as you please. Good. She can get back in the party. Consider it a reward for attempting to protect my life. I mean, I would be mine no matter what. There won't be any um, <clears throat> financial reward, of course. <laughs> well, at least I already took your 650 gold pieces from your basement. Wait. Where's Sir Leopold? That's a good question. He's gone. He must have been scared off by all the disturbance. Well, that's your fault. David. Go and find Sir Leopold at once. Y yes, Master. Maybe we should talk to you about these books in your basement first. The party carry the unconscious Jessica to the inn. She appears to have been... She appears to be having some kind of dream from which she cannot wake up. Well, just cast Tingle. I heard this story from my great-grandmother. She told me how her own great-grandmother was a renowned sage who came from the Western continent to be married. A sage? What do you mean? I didn't really understand at first either. But apparently, even though she was a woman, she was a master of sword fighting and magic. Even though she was a woman, huh? Wow, Alistair. Wow. Really? So... Maybe that's why you're so good at them, too. Maybe it came from her. If only. But I'm not under any illusions. 
I mean, you could actually make uh, Jessica uh, very good at sword fighting and magic, too. I'm sure there's room for improvement with my sword work, and any real magician would think my magic's just child's play. You think? Well, I can't do either. If you ask me, your magic's amazing. Thanks, but it really isn't. In fact, if you ask me, I wasn't the one who inherited our ancestors' magic. I think it was you, Jessica. She does have pretty impressive magic. I'm sure there are abilities and skills that haven't yet been awakened in you, but one day they will be. And I can't wait to see you when that day comes. That's not the uh, armor that I remember him in. Wait, no, actually, I guess he did have that. Finally coming to King Trode Gov. Yep, it's what? me. What happened? I feel like I've just woken up from a really long dream. Eh, maybe a little bit more like a nightmare. Ah, it looks like you're back with us at last. Don't you remember? You disappeared the day after we defeated Dormagus. Yes. I do remember. But wasn't that all a dream? Eh, uh, not really. I was being controlled by a hideous magical force. Just like Dolmega's was. It was this huge, terrible, evil, magical being. Yeah, only some of those describe me. The Lord of Darkness. Rapthorn. Oh, you mean him! Uh, okay, yeah, no, that, that doesn't describe him, yeah. But I found some things out. Listen, I've got so much to tell you. Does it include tomorrow's lotto numbers? Uh, there's no need to rush. Just take your time and start at the beginning. Yes. Rapthorn was ordering me to do things. He told me to seek out and destroy the heirs of the Seven Sages so his seal would be broken. Well, at least we prevented you from doing the fifth one of those. Rapthorn once terrorized the world, and it was the Seven Sages who managed to seal away his soul. They didn't have the power to destroy him completely, but they shut his soul away in the scepter and sealed it with their mystical blood. Rapthorn's curse seeks to destroy those Sages' heirs. Master Rylus, my brother Alistair, Abbot Francisco, and the man from Baccarat too. Everyone who's been killed has been an heir of one of the Seven Sages. Hmm. The plot thickens. Like a good stew. Do you mean to say that the reason Medea and I haven't been turned back to normal is also to do with this Rapthorn fellow? Guess we gotta go kill the great big evil guy. That's the only way to return them to normal. I don't know, but there are only three heirs left. David and two others. If the heirs of all seven sages are wiped out, Rapthorn's seal will be broken and he'll escape from the scepter. That's it! The scepter! King Trode, where is it? Where's the scepter? Um, didn't see it when you, uh, when you fell down to the ground and, and shattered your shins. You mean the royal treasure? Yes. Come to think of it, I don't know. I lost sight of it in all of the hullabaloo. I wonder what we would need to do to get it back in and, and seal it up again. Like, because if anyone who picks it up gets uh, possessed by uh, Rapthorn, maybe if we just, like, keep passing it between ourselves, maybe it takes time? No. David's in danger. Whoever picks up the scepter will fall under Rapthorn's control. Maybe we just need to use tongs. We have to find it. We have to save David. Come on! We must find the scepter before it's too late. All right. You know, did I did I look through all this stuff? I think I did. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. This is not a separate room. Excuse me, uh, Trode. None of the books appear to be particularly interesting. What? 
New fires seem to be springing up before we've managed to extinguish the old ones. Just look at me, I'm still afflicted with this intolerable curse. Still, I suppose now is hardly the time for a grumble. We must hurry, old. David's in danger. Whoever picks up the scepter will fall under Rapthorn's control. We have to find it. We have to save David. Come on, old. We must find the scepter before it's too late. A scepter went missing about the time that Domenico bloke was up to his tricks. Cool. We'll be in the right fix if it's fallen into the sea or something. <laughs> we encounter a sea dragon possessed by Rapthorn. That'd be hilarious. I realize we had no choice, but fighting a lady goes against everything I believe in. Then again, I've never had a thing for aggressive women. Alright, let's go. I guess I'm leaving you guys behind. Jeez. Are you back in the party? No! Jessica! Back in the party. Alright, that's not where we want to go. I mean, I guess she's had a rough day. Rough few days. I've been waiting here for ages since the last fight I missed. But that kind of thing doesn't exactly happen all the time, does it? I can't believe I missed the action before. What's wrong with you, lady? Master Domenico has become thoroughly depressed since Leopold ran away. It must have been a terrible shock for him. If you're looking for him, he'll be dining about now, I should think. Normally, the master eats enough for three, but he's not had a single bite today. And he doesn't look very well for it. I think fighting off that woman before really took it out of him. Oh, it's you. I've not been feeling well ever since seeing that little witch off, you know. It's not a physical matter. I've just got an uneasiness that I can't seem to shake. It's hard to put it into words, but I'm gripped by the feeling that I've made an, a most almighty blunder. But the great Domenico does not suffer from indecision and regret. I'm in no mood to talk now. Leave me. Come back and see me later when, if you need something. Alrighty. Uh-oh. Ah! That didn't sound good. Ah, someone help! Come quickly! I it's David! I'm coming, I'm coming! I should have talked to David before I went in. I thought that would trigger something. Ah, uh, hi, lady. It's Leopold. He's got David with the scepter. Why does your mouth not move? Ah! Oh, he's just trying to play fetch. Now, there are only two left. You will interfere. No more. Oh, poopy. Bye, pupper. Oh, no. Please. Go after Sir Leopold. Oh, we will. We will. Don't worry. He He's, he's the only one who makes Master Dominico happy. Okay, and that's not the reason why I'm going to go after it. After him. Most definitely not the reason. Without uh, Sir Leopold, uh, Master Dominico would, would be so unhappy. Then why does he keep Sir Leopold in that cage? M Master... Ah, if only we could have cast Full Heal. What, what's happened? Your dog, sir. David, esteemed heir to the great sage Coopers. Uh-huh. Why has it taken me so long to realize? Because you're a bit of a derp. I, I couldn't protect you. All the magic that has been in my family for generations. 
My ancestors brought me and Cooper's heir together for a reason, but I... I... No. Just thinking about it is too painful. It's unbearable. Let's just let you uh, cry with your face buried in the dirt. I think that's that's an appropriate response right now. I must apologize if I worried you. Oh, you didn't worry me. No, 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 no. It hit me the moment I saw poor David's body. Now everything is clear. It appears I was put on this world as part of a grander design to fulfill my family's destiny. That is, protecting the heir of one of the great sages. Protecting David. This has always been my duty. But somewhere along the way, my ancestors let the power go to their heads. We lost sight of our true purpose. Well, I hope this gives you and um, any future kids you may have uh, pause and, and makes you consider some things. If only I'd realized all this sooner, I could have prevented this tragedy. If only we had had the opportunity to tell him the things that we had already known from the books in his basement. I ordered my servants to bury David as the heir to a great sage should be buried. But... Nothing can put right the wrong I have done. I am not fit to show my face in public. At least he has some contrition. Will you do me one last five? Uh, maybe. Do you want to tell me what it is first? No? <sighs> is it going to be uh, go destroy Rapthorn or something like that? Let's see. I know it was my Leopold who ended David's life. It pains me to have to ask you, but will you destroy him for me? Will you avenge the spilt blood of the sages? I mean, that's what we're going to do anyway, but I'm also kind of surprised that, you know, given the fact that we saved, with your help, Jessica, uh, you're not prepared to help us out to save Leopold. I mean, I know he's a dog and not a person. But people care about their pets very greatly. Maybe not Domenico. That creature isn't my Leopold anymore. He's being controlled by some evil magic. I mean, again, we did save Jessica. I know this won't make amends for my unforgivable ignorance, but it's all I can do now. I mean, if there was, like, uh, an explanation of I can't save Leopold the way I saved Jessica because the crayon spindles got used up, then it would be like, okay, understood. That makes sense. But there isn't that. And I owe you something, too. Yes, you do. For all the trouble I have caused you. Yes. You owe me a lot, actually. <gasps> oh, yeah. I see that the girl has yet to unlock her true potential as a magician. Allow me to awaken the dormant powers within you. Okay, and what's this going to entail? Jessica learns Kassizzle. Jessica learns Kakrackle. People say. They saw Leopold heading north out of town. That's where you should start looking. Okay, we can do that. I'm sorry to have to ask this of you. I wish you the best of luck. All right, again, you could do more.
Yay, Jessica's back in the party. And also, she has nothing. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and get her equipped. Um, where is the whip that I want her to have? So that's 32, that is 23. Actually, I meant to attack, uh, equip that, but whatever. I believe you had this. Or was it the magic armor that you had? No. You had a white shield. I'll definitely have to uh, go back through all the things and make sure that I have the appropriate things. I'd rather you have an agility ring. Okay. Uh, let's see, you had the Staff of Anti-Magic. Lightning Staff. Doesn't really matter. And I should make another uh, uh, Magma Staff. I think that would be a good idea. I do not have the the knife that does uh, a chance of instant death, so I'm going to need to do one of those eventually. I should turn that into something else. Um, I don't really need some of those. <clears throat> Lesser Panacea could be good. Okay. That's good enough for now. I do need to go through and figure out some things that I can make as well, but that can come a little bit later. Like I said, I do need to make another uh, magma staff because that is pretty good, and also, let's go ahead and equip that. Give you your chain whip back. Right, I think that is what we had. So I was going to use one of these cheeses, but I did not end up uh, needing to. Okay, well, we don't have the uh, the key that we need. Uh, eventually, we will get that key, hopefully. So there are still locked doors, but uh, it's about time for us to Wait mosey to on off. all out. What's up, Jessica? Uh, it's nothing much, but ever since we defeated Dolmagus and I picked up the scepter. I haven't been able to speak my own mind. Well, I mean, you were you were possessed. That's understandable. So I just wanted to say this now. I don't feel like I've avenged my brother's death at all. No, I'm, it's understandable. I don't know who or what this Lord of Darkness Rapthorn is, but we can't afford to relax while the scepter is still missing. I know that. I know that. I don't intend to stop searching until we've found that scepter and sealed Rapthorn away again. So... Uh... I guess we'll be spending a lot more time together? Uh, yes, I mean, of course. Because you're a party member, you're never allowed to leave. Ever. You've signed a compact Sorry. in blood. 
Did that come out a bit strange? No, not at all. Really? Thanks. You're sweet. You know that? Yes, I do, actually. The sweetest. And humble, too. Lady, your shadow is clipping through, and that's just kind of kind of creepy. I saw it. I saw Leopold attacking David. He suddenly jumped down from the roof and stabbed a wooden stick into David's back. I came to see David every day, but I never thought I'd be there to see his last moments. It's just too sad. It is pretty sad. It is pretty sad. Oh, also. Uh, let's see. Seat of Strength. Go ahead and use that on Yangus. And Seat of Life. Use that on Jessica. Three of these. See, I don't really have the money for much right now, but let's see what, uh, what you had available. Okay, Swordbreaker would be better for Jessica. Swallowtail would be better for me. So the Bastard Sword, but I think that's not as good as the um, uh, Zombie's Bane. Or Zombie Slayer. Hell Scythe is not as good for Yangus, so that's good. All right. Armor-wise, what do we got? Cloak of Evasion, Magic Armor. Magic Bikini is better, and it's really freaking expensive. Okay. So we do want to save up for the Magic Bikini. Reduces damage from enemy spells by 15 points. I mean, it's magic. Alright, so that's about it. Now, we did defeat rank B... Domenico paid me a great wage. He might not be the friendliest man around, but at least he's generous. He's all right by me. No, he's he's terrible. I mean, he's better now, but he's still terrible. Probably my least favorite character in the game. Which is saying something, because Marcello and Charmels is in this game. Anyway, so... Apparently, Leopold went north, so uh, we will have to go ahead and... Uh, head north ourselves and see what we can find. However, I do think that we're going to start hunting down some monsters that we couldn't get before because they are now available with rank B. But that will be for next time. See you then, everyone.